Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame. Child, you, you see Cinnamon Sugar. She she didn't took over the show. But anyway, um I'm debating on if I'm gonna do something to my hair or if I'm going to just somewhat tame it and then do something to it over the weekend at some point in time when I'm off. I have no idea. But I just wanted to come on here to give y'all an update on what's been going on because apparently when I'm off work, everybody set it off. Everybody act a fool. And the most popped off when I wasn't at work this weekend. So this was the second week in a row where I was able to get my days off, right? Hallelujah for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get that while I can. And in the meantime, in between time, trying to figure out what's going to be next for me, <laughs> possibly because... They've played in my face way too many times. And there was something that happened today. It triggered me all over again. I was like, let me hurry up and get out of this building. But anyway, let me let me take y'all back to the beginning of my work day before I even got into the building because it started before I even got into the building. So I get out of my car. I actually did good today, y'all. I'm proud of myself. I'm really, really proud of myself because I really try my best to walk in there within 30 seconds of the last possible minute that I can clock in because that's how much I don't want to see them. Yeah, that's that's how bad it is. So I walked in there a couple of minutes early and like before I even walked in the building, somebody that I'm cool with, you know, one of the three amigos, one of, you know, one of us, he rolled up, he in the car, he was like, hey, hey, you know, calling my name. He was like, hey, come in for a minute because I was halfway across the parking lot. So like, okay, went back to him. I was like, hey, all right, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I got to get to the clock, even though I know I have a couple of minutes left. And so he was like, man, all kinds of stuff popped off when you went here. I was like, what you talking about? So he talking about random stuff that happened that he got to tell me about. And like, we walking in the building together at this point because he already, he volunteered to come in early. So he was just in there in his car on break and, you know, whatever, right? And so I was like, okay, talking to me. So, like, we really talking while I'm clocking in, and he rolled up while I'm looking at the schedule, trying to make sure I'm still where I'm supposed to be, which is, you know, essentially, I was supposed to be the breaker. But before we walked in the building, he was like, hey, can you switch with old boy? Because you know I'm food with him. You, you know I'm rock with him. I was like, okay, that's cool. So, that means he and I were going to be working together. And I like working with him. It's cool working with him. He be killing me. He, he really be killing me all day. So that ended up working well for me. And it's funny because <laughs> when I got to the area where we have our meetings, the other guy wrote up on me and was like, hey, you know, you want to trade? You know, I'm supposed to be working with old boy. I'm like, sure, I'll trade. I was going to come trade with you anyway. That's what I was saying to myself. So traded with him and I got there. I actually did good today. I'm, I'm actually proud of myself. Y'all understand it be taking everything in me. Like last week, because my monthly visitor was here. Meaning, when I say that, that means I have eaten very poorly. Because my monthly visitor can be here at any given time. And if I'm eating the way I'm supposed to eat, it does not matter. <laughs> like, it's not going to affect me. I'm not going to feel down in the dumps and sad and whatever else. Because I've been eating like trash. It has affected how I'm going to feel. So, it just is what it is. So... Child, hold on, y'all. Let me get my um mirror, my my mirror, <laughs> so I can look um at the parting in the back of my head because I got one right next to me that y'all can't see. It's a three, it's a three way mirror or whatever. But unless I have it hanging in front of me, it's still not gonna do no good for the back. So you know, I still have one that I hold in my hand when I'm looking and parting and all that stuff because even though most of the time it's straight, I still need to make sure it's right. So I'll be right back. So anyway, y'all, excuse me for the interruption. So, like I said, I ended up trading with the other guy. Cool, whatever. Like, y'all, this the person that I traded with is the person that he keeps going to HR on everybody. And I'm like, sir, you do realize you have pretty much no occurrences left. And you're doing the most. Like, wouldn't you want to, like, not bring attention to yourself? Makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. So... Y'all, excuse me, I'm trying to stay hydrated despite eating bad or whatever. Um, <clears throat> I drink spring water all day at work. And when I tell you, my body be here for it. So anyway, 
we get up there, we doing what we doing or whatever. And so like, he kind of like looking across the way because since he's now the breaker, he's going from department to department and he's talking to people. He's talking to the other one of us, you know, of the three amigos or whatever, right? So he starts telling me about what that went down while I wasn't there. Cause I'm looking like, what in the world y'all got going on? Like, why is y'all setting it off when I'm not here, honey? What happened? Cause he was like, oh, well, you know, so he ain't gonna be here for a week and a half. I said, what you talking about? So the person who I told y'all about before, who at first I thought he had one child, but he has three. One of them lives here and the other two live in the Carolinas. So he was like, oh no, 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 I have three. I just told you about the one that's here because the mom of the other two moved away and she's in North Carolina. So I'm like, oh, okay. Cause ain't nothing here, y'all. Ain't nothing here in most of Virginia, child. Everybody and their mama move away and go to North Carolina. Everybody move to North Carolina, child. If they're from here, it seems like if you're gonna move away, everybody move there or they move to Atlanta or yeah, it's usually one of those two. It, it don't seem like there's an in-between. So far, everybody that I've seen, that's what they do. I'd be like, woo, y'all doing too much. But anyway, <clears throat> so y'all excuse me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I think I know what I want to do, but I'm going to just part and see what happens because I'm still not 100% sure, but we're going to see. But so he was like, oh, yeah, he's going to be off for a week and a half. I said, well, a week and a half? What you mean he's going to be off for a week and a half? He done took off for a week and a half. I'm like, come on now. I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, because in my mind, my mind is strictly going to you must be taken off to get away because some stuff didn't popped off. So what's going on? Well, I'm being informed that y'all excuse me. I'm being informed that the guy who I ended up trading with has gone to the supervisors yet again about him. And this time what has been put out there is that, he has a book bag with him. And so he said something to him sideways the other day because he wasn't where he was supposed to be. And so he told the guy, man, you need to get back in your area. And so the dude didn't really take too kindly to that or whatever. And so he made it seem like old boy with the book bag that he carries, the one who then took off for a week and a half, that he had a gun in his book bag. And pulled it out on him. And like threatened him with it. And I'm saying to myself, ain't no way after everything this man has done to try to stay away from any and everybody that he knows is going to try to test his gangster. Because like he literally will switch with me and everything else just to get away from folks. So I'm like, why would he jeopardize his job knowing he has small children? Well, I think his oldest child is 12. And I'm just like, why would he do that knowing he got kids he got to provide for? And he has to live himself, himself or whatever, right? So I'm like, that's kind of stupid, but okay. Right it in. It's kind of crazy. So he was like, yeah, I don't believe he did all that either, but he trying to make it seem like he walked around and he kind of showed it to him. And I was like, but why would you do like, that makes no sense. All these things that you've been doing to make sure that you don't end up, y'all excuse me, I'm just trying to make sure the part did go. The part is what it need to be. Um, You've done all these things to make sure that you don't end up looking crazy out here in these streets and end up getting fired and all this other stuff. Why would you then take it upon yourself to do that? That, that don't make no sense to me, right? And so he was like, yeah, I don't believe he did nothing. Da, 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 da. So I was like, okay. So... While we're in the middle of the conversation, <laughs> I'm in disbelief. So I'm just like, nah, you lying. So he called the guy over there who is in the middle of talking to the other guy who has been the one dropping dimes on everybody left and right. And so he was like, tell her what happened. And I was just like, <laughs> what is going on in y'all's lives, right? And so he was like, yeah, man, he was just over there telling me about it. And I was just like why but but why i said why y'all act a fool when i'm not at work though i don't understand why y'all gotta act a fool like this it's not that serious and it's really not like that's the thing it's seriously it's not even that deep and so he was like man i don't know what they got going on it ain't me i ain't a part of it i was like mm -hmm. 
you a part of it because he got beef with you too. He was like, I don't know why he got beef with me. I ain't did nothing to him. Da -da -da -da. I was like, I get that. I hear you. But it's a mess. Y'all ain't going to be able to concentrate. <laughs> I'm very particular about my parts. I'm not going to be able to concentrate. So let me go ahead and take this loose. And I will resume when I'm done talking to y'all about everything. So, <clears throat> I'm just like, I don't understand. Like, why can't y'all just come to work, do what you're supposed to do? And go home, honey. What's wrong? Just do your work, then go home. Like, that's how I feel about the situation. I'm not coming in there to care about what none of y'all got going on. Or what kind of stupidity y'all want to come up with. That's why when the side helper started doing the stuff she was doing, I was just like, see, this is what I don't have time for. Like, I don't I don't, I don't be having time for stupidity. I, I don't have time for it. And that's why I be looking at people like, I hope y'all ain't think I was supposed to care about none of what she was talking about. And that's why I ignore her existence most of the time. <laughs> And um, going by my business, like I'm here to get my check and go home. Like, girl, get out of my face. I don't have time for this. You and your feelings about something that ain't got nothing to do with me. So anyway, y'all. So I'm like, but a week and a half, he was like, yeah, he took off for a week and a half. I'm like, I'm not finna use uh, all my vacation time, sick time, PTO, or whatever else I got left because I can't get along with you. Mm -mm. I'm not doing it. Sorry, I'm going to keep on doing what I need to do to prove that, you know what I'm saying, some things might have happened in the past, but, you know, I'm not going to let it affect me and bring me out of character no more, and I'm just going to come up in here, do my work, and go home. That's what I'm going to do. Well, <clears throat> like I said, this man that took off for a week and a half, I ain't going to see this man for a week and a half. This is crazy. Well, I left up out of here, like, it, it's, it's sad that every single day when I do see him, I'm like, are you behaving yourself? Or you better make sure you behave yourself. You better act right. Like, I'll play with him and be like, man, you better act right. I hear about all the things you be doing. And he be like, man, I just come up in here, do my job, and go home. And, like, he really do, like, try to stay out of the way. But it's like when you trigger somebody and you don't expect to get a response out of them after trying them over and over again, that's silly of you to think that that's the way it's going to go down, right? But, yeah, he's like, well, if you try him enough, you poke the bear enough, he's going to poke back. Mm. I'm just curious about this gun situation. So, if he does come back, I want to know what happened with that. I, I just need to know. Because it's like, it's like all the stories keep getting more and more elaborate. And I'm just like, what is going on? So, <clears throat> we had a good day up there. We were laughing and joking the whole time. I did a whole lot. And I really should have checked to see how much I weighed when I got home. I don't be thinking about it. Like, y'all y'all think I'm playing. I'm over 50% body fat. So, it's easy for me to drop weight. Because I'm mostly fat. So, it's like... <laughs> but, like, I really do be sitting up there doing the most. And I lose three to five pounds here and there throughout the week like I could do that in a day like it's nothing for me to just lose it but yeah I did a lot today uh it helps to preoccupy my mind and because I have been very very sad over the course of this weekend y'all just thinking about the friendship that I had with that person and how she acted funny and, and moving funny now and it's just like girl what I haven't done anything to you. <laughs> like, girl, I'm over here trying to help you. Like, I'm consistently trying to help you. So why are you acting like this towards me? I haven't done anything to you. So that's why I'm just like, girl, <sighs> you know what? I feel like putting on one of my um, back on businesses uh, pieces of jewelry that I have done somewhat of a recap. Well, not, you know, spotlight. I did a, a black on business spotlight on. So, yeah, I feel like putting that on right about now because I still feel a little naked considering. Y'all, the packaging, I'm. this is me reopening up the packaging because that's how strong this glue is that's on the bags, you know, the little packages that she has. So, let me see which one I want to put on at this point because it's like, yes, I think I know what I want to put on. We're going to see what y'all think about it. I ain't going to say nothing. But anyway onward upward yeah and put these on <laughs> so
So anyway, <clears throat> we had a good day. And um, then as the day progressed, we, my, um, my, 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 um, ugh, excuse me, the person I was working with, he ended up telling me, he was like, all right, um, he tried to get me to go to lunch before him because y'all, he had to do the most hated task. And it was so random. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm a, we going to keep going to break and I'm still going to go after you. You can go ahead and go now. It's just going to be later. And, you know, by the time we make it to the last break, we will have, you know, circled back around to where it need to be. So he was like, okay. So he went to break, went on his lunch break. Then when he came back, you know, I went on mine. Well, before he went on his break, he was like, oh, he said, our supervisor wanted to see him. And I was like, oh, he probably just wants you to sign paperwork because what we have to do when it comes to that particular task, oh, you have to sign. Because if it's wrong or if something happened and whatever, they can look back on it and say, oh, these people signed off. Because they need, you know, they need people to blame. You know how it go. It is what it is. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing when I'm being serious. I'm, I'm so serious. So, I'm just like, child, ain't nobody got time. Or at least I don't. So, it's just a mess. And that's why I be looking at these people like, baby, mm -mm. I done did that and I could have, you know what? These are cute. But let me put these other ones on, y'all. I'm 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 obsessed with earrings. I'm ex I'm obsessed with accessories, and um, it needs to stop. And I don't know why I'm so obsessed. It ain't like I'm going somewhere for them to be showcased, for them to be, you know, for people to see how cute they are. I don't know why I'm doing all of this. <laughs> but anyway, um, but these are really really cute, y'all. That I'm about to put on. Love these. The ones that I just took off of from a black owned business. <clears throat> if you know, you know. But if you don't, you're gonna find out once I actually do the black owned business spotlight on her um on her stuff. So anyway, let me get into this. Wait a minute. I'm trying to make sure I'm not about to break. Gotta make sure I'm not trying to break it, y'all. Cause I don't know what's going on right here. I'm gonna be sad if it try to break. So anyway. He was like, oh, the supervisor wanted to see me. I was like, oh, okay, he probably just wants you to sign something. He was like, I ain't signing that. He over here, you know, playful. to my he ain't going to sign that. Y'all, tell me why when he came back, we had to spend five to ten minutes so I could even go on my lunch break for him to explain to me what the supervisor wanted. And guess what he wanted? Rolled up on him was like, yeah, so, you know, I heard that, you know, you in the middle of some things going on with this person, the same person, that he didn't trade his place, places. I didn't trade the places with the other person, right? He was like, how am I getting into it with, with this person when I don't even talk to him? I have not said a word at all to this man since December of 2022. And even then, it was barely anything. And it was because they had them working together. So I was like, oh my gosh. He was like, yeah, he over here talking about you done threatened him and you done did this and you done did that. I was like, what is, I was like, okay, this is the game. This, this, this is becoming very... <laughs> beyond crazy because it's like he keep going to hr and supervisors and everything on these people and i'm just like why are you doing this when you already got one foot out the door he think that his daddy being a maintenance man that is gonna save him i don't know why he think that because he don't come all the time like he's supposed to so that's already a strike against him as it is see y'all uh, it's a butterfly and it's a rose and I know these are strawberries, but I don't know. I'm doing the most. I know I know y'all probably like, girl, go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> I don't know. This is probably too much red going on. I don't know. Y'all know I don't know how to match nothing. I'm just here. So anyway, but so he was like, oh, so now he got me deep into some stuff. And so I was like, look, y'all need to squash whatever y'all got going on. As, as I was forming the sentence he was just like he closed his eyes and was like nope he was like he basically said he would beat that man down and put him in icu and the only way they would ever come to some kind of a, a agreement to you know be cool or whatever would be him being six feet under and i was just like Whew. and see the only reason why i started to say that to him like oh why don't y'all come to a resolution and why don't y'all um squash it things and all this other stuff is because he came to me like a couple of weeks ago and said that about me and the side health and i was like there's nothing for me to do because i 
work well with everybody but her. She's the one who has the issue with me. She would need to come to me and apologize and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say I'm sorry for coming at you sideways. You know, I'm a dummy because I'm over here losing my mind over somebody who ain't even mine. And you don't even have the slightest interest in it. Like, girl, you don't even know what I like. Y'all don't know my sexual orientation. Y'all don't know nothing. Y'all don't know nothing. Like, to this day, like, you don't know if I have a, I can have a whole boyfriend. I can have a whole girlfriend. I can have both. Y'all don't know what's going on with me. But yet and still, you want to take it upon yourself to be upset. <laughs> that when it, when everything was in full effect, he was rolling up on me. And you were finding out about it or you were seeing it with your own two eyes. I would never initiate nothing. But I'm just like, you still want to take it upon yourself to, to hate me. And go find somebody to take your spot if I end up having to be somewhere working with you just so you can't work with me. Just so you won't have to work with me. Girl, <laughs> I just don't understand the stupidity. It's just too stu it's just too stupid for me. I can't. So anyway, um, but that's where I got it from. Because I mean, we all should be able to work together, but it's to the point where now that guy will come to me and want to trade with me when it comes to the guy I was working with today. The other guy or him will come to me and be like, Hey, you know what I'm saying? Can you trade with me? Because they definitely can't work together. And now this situation that popped off and I need to know if a gun actually was involved because what is going on here? Now, I think I told y'all about a situation that happened quite some time ago. It, it's been like over a year now. This guy came, he was, you know, new. He was still new. I don't think that man had been there a whole month yet, but he was awesome at bringing us resources and all that stuff or whatever, right? And so somebody came up to our job who does not work there and was waiting on him in the parking lot. And wanted to square up. One of the two of them pulled out a gun in the midst of the fight. And the guy that works where I work ended up getting fired because they don't tolerate any type of fighting. Even before he pulled out the gun, if he had been scrapping, they still would have been like, oh, you were involved, you're getting fired. Like they don't they don't play that. So that's why a lot of the times some of us jokingly, or at least I have jokingly said that, you know. If I was to see the heifer out and about and she want to roll up then and, and she want to get booked, then we can see where it's going to go. Because I just need for you to touch me first. That's all I'm saying. Because if she ever touch me, if she ever come at me sideways like that and actually touches me, I have every right to defend myself. And if y'all fire me for that, then y'all are going to be getting sued and I'm going to get all the money that I should have been had and then some. So anyway, um, so I'm going to end this by saying that when I left out today, I felt some type of way. This weekend, I talked to my parents and um, they were talking about my job situation. And I know they really want me to come back home to be closer to them, especially given everything that's going on with my mama and all of that, but I don't want to be at home. Like, I don't want to really be in Montgomery, Alabama like that. I just want to visit and just be closer. Um, Montgomery be having so much popping off. And I mean, that happens in a lot of places, but like, I don't want to live in Atlanta, but I don't mind like certain parts of Georgia, but I know how certain parts of the South can be. So I, I don't even know where I would want to really move to if it's not going to be somewhere else in Alabama. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to be um, continuously praying on my job situation because there are some jobs out there that I fit the criteria for and it's sad that I even have to do this, even though this is a stepping stone job. It's a great job considering what I get paid to do what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's a stepping stone job and... I eventually want to get back into social work and things that are along the same lines of social work. If it's not casework, you know, something in that area. I don't care if it's a full staff office job at this point. I'm still going to be dealing with the public, all of that, and working my way back towards what I know I was born to do, which is social work. I do exceptionally well as a social worker. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. My clients lived for me when I was a social worker, even when I ended up having to um, resign as a social worker because I did not pass my social work licensure in the amount of time allotted. 
they were calling up there wondering where I was because a lot of people don't do the things they're supposed to do when they are supposed to go out to the houses, to the schools, to the courts, to doctor's appointments, um, anything. They'll call up there to ask for something. They won't call them back to say yes, no, maybe so, nothing. Like they'll come up there to see people. They'll deny them or have them sitting and they'll be in the actual building. Like it's just... A lot of people are not meant to have any dealings with social work related or casework related jobs. They they just don't, they're not people. They they are not people um, oriented. They are not, <laughs> uh, they don't do well working with the public. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm just like, why did you sit up there and get this degree in that? Like you don't work well with others in general. So why would you then sign up to go to school and get your degree in social work, especially the ones that have gone even further and gotten their master's and all of that in the same field? I just don't understand because I've seen so many people who <laughs> y'all probably gonna think I'm lying, but to make a long story short, when it comes to this, when I was a social worker, and I was in the middle of trying to pass my licensure. There was a worker <laughs> who lived about an hour away. He would come to work. He got there after me, meaning um, I had already been hired on um, and all of that. And then he came after me. Well, he had to take his licensure as well. He had a lot of people who knew his family. Um, his family came from like reputable I, they were reputable in some way or whatever and you know it, it's kind of like along the lines of the trumps and you know things like that let me just put it like that they they knew people who knew people and so if they wanted things done it was gonna happen this man was being passed through school and i was told that there were people who were in the room with him or who kept coming into the room with him when he took his licensure. They were giving him the answers to the test and all this other stuff. And it was just a whole lot of foolishness. But me, I was always like a point or two away from passing my licensure. And that's how a lot of good social workers end up not being able to practice anymore. Because in the state of Alabama at the time that I was practicing, you can practice as a social worker after you have graduated from a reputable college with your degree in social work for a year. And that's what I did. And when I took my last exam, I did like I always did, prayed over and I said, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. If not, oh well. And I mean, I had good intentions and I thought that I was going to actually pass. And it was like a one or two off as usual. The problem is that the people who make the tests don't understand that what their response to a situation is, it's completely different from what and a, a real social worker's response to a situation would be. There are times that they would ask questions like, oh, well, what's the order that you would do this? And it's like, depending on the situation, the order changes. Like, I was just like, <laughs> but in their mind, there's only one right way to do this, that, or the other, depending on what the question was. Y'all, it was just so many moving parts, and it was just so frustrating. And I was numb <sighs> once I got my results back because... Every time I went, there was this one woman that was there. And the last time she saw me, she knew that was my last time that I could take it. Because y'all know we got to pay. You got to pay to sit for it. And you got to pay for the test. I was paying almost $500 every time to sit for the test. So I'm I'm not going to sit up there and just continuously pay for a test if I don't really want to be there. Like, anyway, so the woman was hiking me up. She was like, oh, you going to get it this time? And, you know, I really was excited. That woman revealed the test score to me. Y'all, my heart sank. It was so sad because I knew that that was going to be it for me. My last day was going to be on a certain day and you either have to be fired or put in your letter of resignation. And I put in my letter of resignation and it was a really sad day. And I mean, what nothing I can do about it because I did everything that I could possibly do. But anyway, y'all, I will let y'all know what I decide to do. I will give y'all updates as of right now, I'm still at, at this place. Um, oh, what was a slap in the face today was that the guy who just got there, like maybe six months ago with that, got the job over me. People were talking to him, 
and he was introducing himself because he saw where they were standing, meaning, oh, well, you check in this particular schedule. That means you work in this department because they have their own little board that they look at because it's completely separate. It's completely separate from, you know, the areas that I work in. And he introduced himself and he was like, oh, yeah, I got this job. And he was like, oh, really? Like one of the people, which was the person who went up there and tried to go to bat for me last week. He was like, oh, okay. Coincidentally, he actually came to me earlier this morning, asked me how did everything go. And I laughed and I said, <laughs> it, it went the same. Everything is as it stands. And um, I'm, I've only been offered the piece of a piece of a piece of a job and nobody is aware as to why I got the original note because it's not making sense. How are you gonna tell me that I did such an amazing job on my interview and it's going all around. Everybody's excited. Everybody says, oh my gosh, she got one foot. You know, she almost here. Like, it seems like I'm about to get it. Like, it, it, it seems like there's no way that I'm going to be denied this job. Any job back there. And I keep being looked over. And so when I heard that he was introducing himself and all that stuff, I was just like, <laughs> I felt myself getting upset. I said, let me go clock out. I was like, let me get up out of here. Let me go. Because I was here before all of y'all. And they sat up there and told me no. And they gave you the job. And you ain't never stepped foot back there. You don't know what it looks like back there. You don't know what's going on. All you know is what essentially is done back there. What what comes out of be, what what's done back there. That's all you know. You don't know what goes into the day-to-day -day and all that stuff. Like, you don't know none of it. Like, he literally has never stepped foot back there. He probably doesn't even know how to get back there. But y'all gave him a job. Gotcha. So, yeah, uh, I felt some type of way. I was like, let me get up out of this building. Let me get up out of here. Like, let me go clock out. Because no. Because no. And... He's an awesome worker. Like what he does currently, he he's awesome. He's up under me right now. And, you know, he does what he does. He's an amazing worker. He works well with people. He was the same dude I told y'all about that when the so-called divorce man was walking out one day, he saw me talking to him because, you know, I was telling him that it was wrong the way they was doing them. And he just saw me talking to him. And it's like the dude real, real tall. And in comparison to him, that the, the the divorce man is short in comparison to him. <laughs> so um, he was looking some type of way. And I was like, mm, you can think what you want to think. Because anybody that look in my direction, he think that they want me anyway. So I was like, mm, whatever you want to think, thank it. It is what it is. But I don't have a personal vendetta against that man or anybody who has been getting them jobs back there. I just feel some type of way because I've been there longer than y'all. I've been back there doing certain things and I've been applying for the last nine plus months only for y'all to tell me no. And then when y'all do tell me yes to something, it's a piece of a piece of a job where y'all can snatch me at any given time. And then it screws me more than likely on the days that I normally would work or I'm off. We put it like that. If I'm off, it, it'll probably be during a time when I'm supposed to be off when they're going to try me because somebody didn't show up or somebody, you know, went out of town or somebody took their vacation and then it was through me. And then I would end up working seven days a week at times. Like, I just don't want to be pulled in five million directions. I just wanted to have a full time job back there. I was trying to get in close a couple of more years and then I was going to go on by my merry way. But I might have to get him these last couple of months and hopefully be up out of there by the 1st of January because y'all gonna stop playing in my face. I'm tired of people always playing in my face. People always want to walk over me. People always want to try me and just think I'm not going to do nothing. And just I'm just going to be a rug and just accept it and just lay there and let it happen. No, I'm going to try my best to do what I can to get up out of there because y'all played with me for the last time. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Bye.